Reverend Marjorie Linton, Minister of Religion, author, spiritual advisor, and motivational speaker with over 20 years experience. Welcome to my podcast, Healing Thoughts Today, where I share workable views for healing and inspiration to empower you and lift your vision higher. afternoon. Who will you serve? We were made in the image and likeness of God, but free choice is our God-given right. Amen. The Greek philosopher Epictetus once said, to live a good life, you have to make good choices. You are what your choices make you, nothing more and nothing less. Amen. We begin making choices the moment we awaken each day. While we live in a free society, we have the freedom to choose what time to awaken each day, what foods to eat, what clothes to wear, which way to drive, how fast to drive, our occupation and our religion, our friends, our homes, and so forth. Now, the law is a perfect and a just, and there are consequences for our choices. Moses said in Deuteronomy 30 verse 19, This day I call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now, choose life so that you and your children may live. Amen. Sometimes, when we face challenges that seem insurmountable, instead of focusing on God as the only presence and the power, the only true source of all good things, we choose to serve the God of self-sufficiency. We consequently suffer the consequences, as we of ourselves can do absolutely nothing. In Matthew 6 verse 24, Jesus reminds us, No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold on to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Amen. The journey of the Israelites to Canaan taught them many valuable lessons. God never failed to provide for their needs. When they reached Canaan, they promised Joshua that they would never forget the goodness of God during times of adversity. Joshua became old, and before he died, he spoke to them for the last time, reminding them of the many blessings they had received during their journey. And he cautioned them about outer distractions. He told them in chapter 1, Be very courageous. And be sure to keep all God's laws that Moses wrote in the book. There are still heathens in the land, but you must drive them out. Have nothing to do with them. Do not bow down and serve their gods. Do not marry with them. If you do this, God will bless you tremendously. If you disobey, great trouble will come to you. In Joshua 24, verse 15, he emphasized, But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then 
Choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. The people listened to Joshua and they vowed to serve the Lord. Amen. Soon after Joshua died, however, they forgot their promise and they became complacent, making wrong choices and associating with their idol worshiping neighbors. Everything became completely out of control. And as a result, the people suffered for breaking their promise to the Lord. This happens, my friends, when we become complacent, leaving God out. The law of cause and effect is exact, however, so we often suffer the consequences for making the wrong choices. We run into problems when we try to control things that only God can control. It is the I am within us that accomplishes all things, both great and small, not the ego or the limited self. Zechariah 4 verse 6 says, Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. We cannot achieve any task, great or small, without handing it over to God, my friends. It is not I, but it is the Christ within me that does the work. Amen. Job says in Job 24 verse 14, For he performeth the thing that is appointed for me, and many such things are with him. Amen. In his book, The Hidden Brain, science writer Shankar Verdantam shares his experience one day when he went for a leisurely swim. The water was calm and clear, and he felt strong and proud for covering a long distance so easily. He decided to swim out to the bay and into the open water. But when he tried to return, he couldn't make any progress. He had been deceived by the current. The ease of swimming had not been due to his strength, but to the movement of the water. Amen. In our relationship with God, my friends, something similar can happen. When life is easy, our minds tell us that it is our own strength. We become proud and self-confident. But when trouble hits, we realize how little strength we have and how helpless we are of ourselves. When the way seems dark and the hills are hard to climb, my friends, there is only one way to experience real strength, and that is to choose God and surrender to his presence and his power. When we choose to make ourselves the manager of our own lives, it only causes conflict, confusion, and stress. Stress relief always starts with letting go and choosing God. Start with saying, God, I'm giving up control because you can control the things that are out of my control. Be still and choose God, my friends. It is that simple. God is in charge, not us. He knows our needs. 
even before we do ourselves. And he is always willing to give us the desires of our heart. Whenever we're faced with circumstances beyond our control, God is always saying to us, let go and know. Let go of control and know that I am in control. Let go and know. When you're going through rough times, my friends, choose God. God is constantly working in and through us. And the only way he can succeed is if we let him. When the way is difficult, just pray as Jesus did in Luke 23 verse 46. Father, I place my life in your hands. When he faced trials, Jesus chose God when he prayed in Luke 22 verse 42. Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet, not my will, but yours be done. This submission, my friends, will lead to peace and joy. God bless you. And now let us look at some points for contemplation. We were made in the image and likeness of God. Free choice is our God-given right. We begin making choices the moment we awaken each day. While we live in a free society, we have the freedom to choose whatever we want. The law is perfect and just, and there are consequences for our choices. Focus on God as the only presence and the only power in our lives and in the world. We of ourselves can do nothing. The law of cause and effect is exact. So, we often suffer the consequences for making the wrong choices. It is the I am within us that accomplishes all things, both great and small, not the ego or limited self. We cannot achieve any task great or small without handing it over to God. When life is easy, our minds tell us that it is our own strength. When trouble hits, we realize how little strength we have and how helpless we are of ourselves. There is only one way to experience real strength and that is to choose God. God is in charge, not us. He knows our needs even before we do ourselves. God is constantly working in and through us and the only way he can succeed is if we let him. Amen. And now, our call to action. I invite you now, dear friends, to take a seat in solitude and silence. Close your eyes and breathe in softly. Look into your own heart. 
Let go of all outer distractions and feel the presence of the Holy Spirit touching you, loving you, guiding you, healing you, and making the way of success easy for you. Let your thoughts flow from your head down to your heart. Learn to become still and persevere through your difficulties. Be gentle with yourself and experience God or good in everything. Choose God. He is working with you. Just trust Him. Be still and know that the I am within you is God. You are calm, centered and poised in the Christ mind, focused on the truth that God is in charge and all is well. God bless you. It was my pleasure sharing healing thoughts today with you, my beloved friends. I do hope you have been blessed. Please join me again next week, Friday, at the same time for another in the series, Healing Thoughts Today. Please subscribe.